Namaste Dosto. If you're taking a train in India from a small rural station like this one, this video is for you. In the last video, I showed you how to catch a train, how to book tickets, how to do everything from a massive train station in India. Now let's see what happens from a rural station because it is different. One difference is we only have a couple of minutes to board the train from this small place. The food's going to be different. We're going to have a lot of street vendors coming on because that last video was filmed at night. We're traveling on a different class, so you'll see that too. So uh, yeah, let's see what it's like to travel from a rural Indian train station so you can do it when you come to India. And do not forget to watch my first train video. You're going to get a lot more different information in that video as well. That's kind of the basic video. And now let me show you how to take a train from a place like Hospit Junction here, going towards Hubli. You might not have heard of these places. This is near Humpy. Humpy are these incredible medieval ruins that you can just walk around for days and days and days, kind of like ancient Rome. So uh, yeah, let's get started. We have a couple of minutes to get in here, take a tour of the train station, find our platform, find our train. And then I'll show you what happens during a train journey here. So we're just walking inside the station now and you've got the booking office there. That's where you can yeah, buy a ticket if you need one. There's also automated machines to buy tickets from too. This is quite a small area, right? Like it's just a very small train station. Just a booking office and two machines. These are all the different trains and the time, arrival times and departure times that they arrive here at the station. The station only handles like 10 to 20 trains. And our train actually isn't even listed here. Our train is a special train that's just running for six months. It's gonna get us to a place called Hubli, which is the nearest airport to Humpy. Now let's go outside and have a look. A lot of people around today. Looks like there's only a few platforms here. This will be platform number one, two, and maybe three over there. And the train stations are quite long, as you can see. Pretty long both ways. So there's a ladies' waiting room here for women to wait in. You've got the men's waiting room here. I'll take you in and I'll just, just show you what it looks like. Uh, it's pretty, pretty basic. And there's just fans. And back behind here, you'll find a bathroom, okay? I can show you what the bathrooms look like because there's no one in here right now. So you've got squat toilets. And the basin doesn't work. Urinals, very, very smelly. And then you've got west, no, oh, no western toilet, okay. It's a shower. Yeah, you can have a shower here, pretty, pretty good. And there's a disabled toilet with a ramp. Um, yeah, you are probably not gonna wanna use these bathrooms and yeah, this is kind of the condition of the bathrooms in, in smaller places like this. It is comfortable enough. Hi bro, how are you? Namaste. Assalamu alaikum ji, kaise aap? Nee, I'm making a video. I'm making a video. I'm making a video. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Carl. Where are you from? New Zealand. Thank you. 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 हाँ माशाल्लाह हाँ माशाल्लाह ठीक है हाँ क्या टूर करने आए थे हाँ 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 जी हम पी के पास आ हम पी के पास हम पी पूरा देख ली जी 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 बहुत सुंदर है ठीक है बहुत खुशी भी आपसे हाँ बहुत खुशी जी शुक्रिया जी दुआ मिली है हाँ जी हाँ जी अल्लाह फ़ेस And that's exactly kind of how friendly people are here very 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 friendly he wanted me to sit down with him and have a chat now at all stations you're going to have water um, I don't drink this because I don't know, like you can see the water filters there and it, it might be clean enough to, to drink from, I just don't know, you might be okay, it's just one of those things, it's coming out super super cold so it's even refrigerated, it might be just fine, I've just, never taken, I've just never taken the risk because you just don't know, and I keep coming along here, so this is platform one as you can see up here, the platforms will all be numbered nicely. And you've also got like catering shops here as well, where you can get tea from here. They'll be selling tea, water, different types of snacks. Hi, namaste. How are you? Good. Could I get one small Sprite and orange juice? 
हाँ हाँ सही है थैंक यू जी शुक्र एंड एट रेलवे स्टेशन यू लोवेज फाइन द नेम्स है and we've got it in three languages we've got it in kannada hindi and english so look for these when you're getting off to make sure you're at the right station and use um, google maps as well now we're reaching to the end of the station now it's quite a pretty little place very peaceful let's go back down the other side and see what's on the other end in the last train video i showed you all the basics like how to book tickets under the foreigner quota how to stay safe on a train uh you can watch that video I'll link to it in the description and and in a pin comment as well but in this video we're just going to check out this little rural train station and here's a VIP lounge in there not for me the ticket collector's office is in here oh you've got R P F tourist what is R P R P F rashtriya police rifles right oh okay the paramilitary force and yeah you can ask him if you need any help on anything it's the sound of a train arriving ah uh, now we need to go in here we could have entered through here look at the beautiful clothes a woman is wearing and now this is another part of the station kind of like the main room and it tells you where everything is on this chart here and then if we come around here this is what we need to look at up here this is going to tell us what platform our train is arriving at so we can wait at that platform for our train and there's another way you can track your train so you don't arrive at the train station too early just go to google just type in train and then type in your train number mine 07336 and it tells you it gives you like a departure time and an expected arrival time here at uh the train station Okay, and there's a train there expected time i can read hindi so 9:50 a.m. and platform number 1 our one 07336 and so we're already at platform 1 so the next question is how do i know where my train carriage will be where do i stand and this is why we have these boards up here and so once you've booked your tickets usually 4 hours before your train departs You're going to get a message with your coach number and your seat number on that coach. So you can come here to the platform so you can find your platform and you can find where your coach is going to roughly stop on this platform and then board. That's what we're going to do in a few minutes. Train should be here soon. These boards will tell you your coach number. If it's S1 or HA1 or 3AC, this will tell you. So these boards light up like 10 minutes before the train arrives. And so I got a text message which tells me I am compartment or coach A1 and seats 40 and 38. So I just have to find the board which is going to say A1. That's it. Stand there and your coach will arrive. Maybe not exactly there but somewhere around there. I got this little bro hanging out with me. He's just following me around watching me vlog. It's okay. People in um small towns are very curious. And when you want to cross to another platform, that from 2 or platform 3 you can take the overbridge here there's even a board here which will give you your train number train name and expected time there's also an ac waiting room we'll go have a look inside here as well yeah man what's up What's that? Yo 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 yo. Yeah, Humpy. Yeah, I was at Humpy. Yeah, no, no, you're returning back. Yeah. Oh, where to? Ha, huh, Hubli. Acha Hubli, okay. Yeah, yeah. So nice. I'm I'm currently visiting to Humpy. Oh, cool. So any places you you would like us to visit? Yeah. There's a good restaurant called Mango Tree. Mango Tree. Okay. Yeah, you can try Mango Tree. Yeah. It's pretty good. Yeah, you make some amazing videos. Man. Thank you, bro. Thank, Thank you so you. much. You. See you later. And so there is a pay toilet here. and it's 5 rupees to use the bathroom or the and 2 2 rupees to use the urinal here so this one you can pay for and it will be a bit cleaner inside than the other bathroom 5 rupees na thank you let's see if it's any cleaner yeah it is definitely cleaner in here so yeah do come in and use the pay toilets they're much better than the free ones you can even have a shower here you're going to want to wear chappals in the shower okay sandals Yeah, you can wash your hands here. 
I mean, it's not the cleanest, right? But it'll do for us boys. My wife does not use the bathrooms in India. Look, this is very India. There's always a dog laying here. This is the kind of local train that's arrived. And like on all trains, you can see, it's going from Tiru, Tiru, sorry about my pronunciation, Tirupati to Ubali. Hi, how are you, bro? And it's GS, Coach S1, Ram Ramji. And this is second class compartment here. Hello. Hi. The animals are very friendly at these stations as well. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> They're very, very playful, hey na? Look at this guy. Don't bite though, don't no 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 play biting. Good boy, good boy. Bye. Bye. Bus, bus. Yeah, maybe be weird. So I showed you that you can check your train's arrival time on Google, but you can also check the coach position. So you can see exactly where on the train your coach is likely to be. So we've got the engine up the front here, and then we have all the sleeper classes, S1 to S6, then we have B1, which is I think usually like third class. And then we have A1, which is where I'm seated. A1 is seated, that's so funny. That's where I'm seated, A1. And yeah, then a couple more behind there. So I'm at the very back of the train actually. So I can kind of guesstimate where I should be standing on the train platform. So it's 10 minutes before our train is arriving and you can see they have put the train number up here, the name and arrival time and the platform. And because it's a small station, all the trains are just arriving on platform one. So that makes it easy. And you can see here we've got coach S5, S4 will be next and we're looking for the coach A1. So when you only have a couple of minutes to board a train at a small station like this, this is what you gotta do. Get here a little bit earlier, wait, for the coach numbers to appear and wait there for the train and just jump straight in. Oh no. So the guy down, that guy down there was drunk and just vomited on himself. Ugh. We found B2, which is third class coach, and we're going to the second class coach, which is A1 down here. And I'll be able to show you like exactly what our second class coach looks like because in the last video I showed you a first class coach. Here we are, we're at A1, we're gonna hang here, and um, the train should arrive any second now. And you can hear the announcement saying that the train is gonna come, it's in three languages again, Canada, Angrezi, or Hindi. You guys would have seen this um, kid following us the entire video, like wherever I've gone he's followed, so. I mean, he's probably just inquisitive, but you never know, you never know if he's gonna as you, as you everyone rushes for the train, he puts his hand in your pocket or whatever. But he might just be a curious dude, that's all. So you're always best to keep your valuables in a safe pocket in your bag, that's what I do. Rather than in your pocket, because they can be lifted from your pocket, especially your back pocket. Never put anything in the back pocket, at least use the front pocket. But you can, you can still be pickpocketed from the front pocket too anyway. After that announcement, you'll notice the little locals coming down to take their place on the, on the platform. The train's nearly here just slowly coming up onto the track now. And we could have taken a cab, but it probably would have cost about the same price as taking a train, and there's so many benefits for a train. It's just so much more comfortable than a cab. You can even work on a train, you can pull out your laptop and do whatever you want. All right, here we go. People are getting off the train, little friends still following behind, and here's our coach here. I'll quickly show you. You can see it says, you can see where it's coming from, where it's going to, and you can even see the train number, 07336. And we can see, here's the coach number here, A1, and we're seats 38 and 40. And you can see, it will also tell you what tier it is, so AC2 tier. So babe, let's go in, eh? Everyone's off the train, so we can go in. Mano. See you later, bro. 
Uh, he's just being friendly. Uh. Oh, the AC is nice in here. Barely anyone here. And now we're just looking for 38 and 40 up the top here. And you can see the seat numbers up here. Our seat numbers are actually missing from our compartment, but you can just come in here. And this is what um, it looks like in two AC. So you've got like two bunks, lo lower and upper, and on both sides. And there's also two bunks on this side too, near the window. And yeah, we're just gonna take our seat here. There's only gonna be four of us in two AC. Yeah, that's it. And as you go down the AC, so you've got one AC, which is less people, you've got two AC, which is more people, then you've got three AC, which is, there might be like six of us, six of us here. So um, yeah, that's how it works. All right, let's see who all comes on the train because usually you have street vendors who jump on at one station and get off at the next and they offer you food and all that type of stuff because the last video we traveled at night and yeah, we didn't get to see any food or try any food because there was no food on that trip. The time goes really fast. You really kind of have to rush in and find your seat because you're gone within a couple of minutes. And we're already out of here. We're gone. We just sat down and the train started moving. Let me show you into the bathrooms. This is very, very standard Indian train bathroom. It's actually, this is cleaner than my first class bathroom that I had. This is much better. And there's a Western toilet as well. This one's like a bit messier, but oh, it stinks, yeah. The train just stops for like, like two minutes at these stations. So you could jump out and get something from, there's a catering cart back there. You could jump out and get something. But you've got like two minutes. Ram Ramji. Um, but yeah, we're already off again. On this trip and the last trip, we haven't seen many street vendors. On the more touristy trips, you will get like fresh food, fresh samosas, sandwiches, cold drinks, like everything will be available from these street vendors who are just coming down the aisles. And you'll see exactly what they have available because they hold it kind of like this. And there's not even a kitchen cart on this train and there wasn't a kitchen cart on the last train. So we're not providing any food to the people on the train either. Sometimes your meals come included in your train ticket. But uh, not on this one. I think I'm just not on very touristy routes, that's all. These are more like, like local routes. So the point is bring some snacks with you, okay? We're nearly at Hubli. Welcome to Hubli, Karnataka. This is the longest railway platform in the world. 1.5 kilometers long, incredible. And so to get out of this place, you come down into this tunnel and we're just walking out now. Such a small town, but such a massive railway station. And you're gonna notice the drivers coming up to us pretty soon. Just like that. Nay, I'm called Nechi. These auto drivers just see a big payday because of how we look, right? But, um, Inside the railway station or on the train, we should just wait outside, right? Yeah. I already know the price though, so yeah, we'll be fine. You can just look up the price on Uber and go from there, use it as like a rough, um, rough idea. All right, the last problem you might have in these smaller towns is um, the Uber doesn't really work here, you know? So you're gonna have to come out and bargain with the rickshaw drivers and there's no taxi drivers there, it's all rickshaw and they know you're new in town and you're a foreigner, so you're gonna have to bargain hard, but just talk to a bunch of different drivers and get a range of prices and work out who's the best deal for you. We finally got one, it was um, 280 rupees for 11 kilometers. <laughs>